Hello guys, in this tutorial we will explain how to add in add purchases without a single line of code, so you don't need to know programming. Previously, with this engine, we could only add purchases with virtual money, but now, since the version 9.0, you can add purchases with real money, real cash. To do this, first we go to the title scene. Now, you can see here a new option, or the same option but a little modified, which is the store editor. If you click on it, you will see a new option which says Enable in add purchases. To enable purchases, we'll simply have to click on this option. The engine will automatically tell us that the Unity Purchasing SDK is not installed. So let's click on Important Unity Package. Then you will see this window that says that once the package is installed, you must reset Unity to apply the changes. So let's click on Important Unity Package. The console will show us a message that says that the package is being installed. So let's wait a moment. After the package has been installed successfully, you must save the changes and reset Unity. Once the project is open again, we go back to the title scene and in the in-app purchases option. We must enable that mode while we are in development. By enabling trial mode, Google will create a fake car and we will not have any wrong charges. In-app purchases works on the most common platform, such as Google Play, Amazon, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, in this case we will use Google Play. If you don't have any selected, you will see this message that says you have to select one. In this case, we will use Google Play. We have new options that allow us to filter the content, such as real money, virtual money, the items that we have added, or none. Here we have a test one. Let's show all the items. Creating an item that can be purchased with virtual money or real money is very simple. So, if you want to add a new item, you just have to click on Add Item and the item will be added to the end of this list. It will be an empty item. It will ask you for a name, for example, Life. I'm going to select real money consumable and the type of item will be live. The product code ID will be the name of the item in the shop. In this case will be live x100, here 100 again. And the price will be 1.50 cents. Now we have to add the image. And just like that we add an item that costs real money. If you want, you can change it to virtual money, but in this case, will be real money. So let's play. And all the items that we create will be automatically be added to the store. And here we can find the items that are purchased with real money and virtual money. No ads is a premium item. It is a subscription. And here we have the heroes. Some of them can be purchased with real money and others will virtual money. The engine will automatically change the icon when it is virtual money and when it is real money. So where can we edit those icons? Well, first we have to go to the end of our list of items and below we have the templates to generate the items. So we can edit these templates. So let's click on it. At least to list the items that are consumables here is, you can click here to show the template. You can completely customize this template with the editor. Here we have where the name is going to be shown, also the price on the image, the button to buy, the text of the bottom here. In this case, 
the buy button will be a red image and after they had purchased it will be blue. Here we are going to choose the text of the buttons to buy when the player doesn't have coins when they already bought it or when it is in use. Icon money. Here we have the icon of the virtual money and the icon of the real money and the player statistics. Here we can change all the images. So let's hide this and let's play. And that's all you need to make in that purchases. Then if you want to test your application, you have to go to the site Google Play Console. You have to upload your application to a trial version. It can be an open test or a closed test. We have to move to the end where it says monetization. In app purchase product. And here we are going to create our product. And here we put the ID and the price of each of them. These IDs are the ID what we place in our list of items. We can filter the items by real money and here we can find the ID. That ID has to be exactly the same as the one that appears here for it to work. Also the price and the name. We have it here, code, name and price. Then you go to test and you must publish it for it to work. We must have an open or closed trial version for our purchases to work. Then we can put it into production or just drop it. Well guys, that is all that we need to make in that purchases without a single line of code. So see you in the next.